Today, as we celebrate our 85th anniversary, we are very pleased to announce our largest and perhaps our most aggressive expansion into this 576,000 square foot facility. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the new Goodwill Resource Center. This is an incredible accomplishment for all Arkansans. For every family who has donated goods for their, from their home, for every family who has shopped one of our stores for bargains, and for every person who has walked through our doors seeking the services of goodwill, looking for a hand up, not a hand out. This is your victory. Is that they provide training for people who are being released from the penitentiary. They are giving them an opportunity for a new start in life. And their statistics are astounding. I know uh, the governor and I, I mean, I do it from a city standpoint. The governor does it from a, a statewide standpoint. Our recidivism rate statewide is about 44%. The recidivism rate for the people that are getting training in, in computer certification, in warehousing, and in retailing here is minuscule in comparison, 7.8% in comparison to that statewide average. This looks a little different, but this is economic development. It's economic development for the state of Arkansas. It's economic development for the city of Little Rock. And it took about two seconds for the governor to say, you're right, let's do it. One of the things that's going to occur here is that they're going to teach, first of all, they're going to give them a job. Secondly, they're going to teach them a brand new skill, and particularly a brand new skill in an arena that's fast growing. Recycling of uh, electronic material is a really wonderful new option and opportunity going forward. So that when they are trained and when they are finished, two things are going to happen. One, they're going to have the skill that they didn't have before they got here. And secondly, they're going to have a track record of working so that in the private sector, one of those barriers is overcome. There's already a history that somebody has decided to do right, go straight, and has stayed out of trouble so that those in the private sector who might have otherwise been reluctant to give that person a chance initially now has a greater comfort level to give them a chance. This facility will give us the space we need to employ more Arkansans and continue to help train our workforce to be sustainable in their lives, families, and all of our communities.